We're talking about breaking the silence. One of the greatest killers of mental health that we will see anywhere, especially for middle-aged men, is when they're on their own and they're all up in their headspace and they're not talking about the struggles they've got with their mental health, with their relationships, with their pressures. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Andrew. For nearly 30 years, I've had the privilege of helping people from all walks of life, training them, mentoring them, and that's what this channel is all about, helping men to become the best that they can become. Let's go to today's episode now. Let's lay down the obvious groundwork. We all understand that talking about struggles is not easy. If it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Everyone would be great at it. But the truth of the matter is, it's difficult. Now, why is it difficult? It's difficult because it takes some courage. It takes some realization that if I continue on my own, in my silence, my struggle is probably gonna persist. But actually, sometimes what we need to realize is that if we don't break that silence, it's possible to go even further downhill. And that's what I'm concerned about for you and for those that you care about, that if you don't get the tools and the courage to break the silence, what's already difficult in your mental health could actually progress to a place that's even more destructive than where you are now. Now, we don't wanna see that happen for any of you, of course, but in my experience for nearly 30 years, I have seen many, many people, many middle-aged men who believed they were at the bottom only to discover that there were deeper depths to travel into. We wanna stop that slide as soon as we can and one of the greatest things we can do to stop the slide is to break the silence. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of the first steps we need to take if we're gonna stop this downhill descent into more and more struggle with our mental health, we've gotta open our mouth, open our heart, open our emotions, open our thoughts, and allow the struggle that's internal to come out into the external. Breaking the silence with our words is probably the most powerful tool that we have in our tool bag to stop that downhill decline. Now, it's not the whole solution. It's not all of the answers that we need to hear. That's what this series is about, to present some very important, very practical and accessible things that you can do. But breaking the silence is one of the greatest things that you can do to stop the velocity of that downhill slide in your mental health. Why is that the case? Well, quite simply, what happens is when we begin to talk, when we find one or two people, maybe it's a family member, a work colleague, somebody that we play sport with, whoever that person is, maybe it's your spouse, doesn't really matter who the person is, as long as they're good at listening and they're good at helping to guide you through talking about the challenges you've got. And when you begin to verbalize, it's like a giant big spotlight gets shone on the struggles that we're having. And suddenly we start to see the jigsaw pieces of the struggle that we're having and that alone allows us to feel like we've actually got some measure of control about turning our life around. Some of you may have watched the episode previously and heard me share my own story about how many, many years ago I hit the wall with some burnout and began to struggle quite badly with anxiety and be, being paralyzed in my thinking. And in that zone and in that season, without a doubt for me, the turnaround began when I opened up my mouth and began to talk to trusted others and I broke the silence about what was happening on the inside. Now I know it takes courage, I know it takes a little bit of guts, but sometimes we have to reach that point where we feel low enough and the threat of heading lower is enough incentive to say, I need to talk now before this gets much worse. The thing about that is you can stop the slide by talking. Now some of you I know, probably many of you, you were not handed the tools in your family upbringing, perhaps in your workspace. It's not really prioritized to talk about our emotions and our feelings and occasionally we do get misguided by the odd role model who talks about their own story and says things like, well, you know, I just learned to get over it and I learned not to pay attention to it. And we kind of 
idolize and make a hero out of the kind of man who seems to be able to not deal with his issues and still make it anyway. Can I speak to that for a moment? The fact of the matter is there's no such thing as a self-made man. And just because we hear stories about some guy who apparently didn't deal with his issues, wouldn't talk about his emotions, wouldn't allow the thoughts to come out to the outside and yet he still made a huge success of himself? Can I shine a light on that? Either we're talking about a man who is lying to us and he actually did open up and talk, but now he's trying to behave like a hero after the fact, or we're hearing words from a man who has achieved some measure of success and yet is still walking around a very broken and shattered man on the inside, despite the outside of his life looking as though he's got it together. Either way, I don't want you to be that guy. I want you to be that man who begins to build the toolkit of speaking about your challenges, opening up with a trusted friend, and just saying it how it is. When you break that silence, you get the words on the outside, not just hearing yourself talk, it shines a light on the real issues and allows you to see the perspective of where things really are. And the number one thing that I want you to get from this short conversation we're having today is the fact that breaking the silence has the power to stop the slide. I'm gonna say that again. Breaking the silence has the power to stop the slide of your declining mental health. You know, as we start to take our first steps, some incredible things happen. First of all, we take our first few steps and we begin to achieve a new momentum. What starts out difficult gets easier and easier over time. Number two, even in our struggle, we can become an inspiring example to others. Maybe colleagues, maybe family, maybe close friends, because we take the step to talk, other people start to realize maybe it's okay for them to talk as well. Thirdly, we are laying the groundwork one day for our own children to encourage them and say, it's okay to talk about your stuff. Talking about your stuff does not make you weaker. Something that can make you weaker is holding it all in, bottling it all up, believing that you can make it on your own, and then that internal turmoil ends up destroying you. I don't want you to be that guy. I want you to be the guy who has a story like mine where one day you can stand up and say to others, I had struggles, but I turned it around with some help from others and it all started by me choosing to break the silence. There's no magic button, there's no magic dust. You have to make the choice on the inside to break that silence, open your mouth and talk about what's going on in your life. One of the things we're gonna talk about next in this series, which is so, so important, I want to make sure that you hang around for that and you don't miss out, is breaking the isolation. We're gonna do that in the next episode. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you do that now? Or leave me a comment, tell me your story. Share some of your journey about what it's been like to learn how to break the silence, or even ask a question, make a suggestion about what other things you think would be helpful in this common goal that we have, lifting the level of mental health strength for our middle-aged men. I'll see you in the next episode.